Hey, Warrior Women, I wanted to jump in here today and ask you, because I know that there's a lot of people in the same place, in the same boat, and ask you if you're struggling to go, if you're struggling to move forward. You know that you're supposed to be getting out there. You know that you have a purpose and you have a plan, but you just can't make yourself go out there and do it. Well, you are not alone. <laughs> God tells us in uh, John 15 16 that he we didn't choose him he chose us that's you that's me he chose us and he ordained us to go we are to move forward and we are to produce fruit that's what that is the purpose and the plan for each one of us um, it's gonna look different for each one of us but we are all supposed to be doing that moving in his name producing and bearing fruit well Yesterday I was on a call, and that's why I'm <laughs> talking to you guys right now. Um, and it, with this group that I'm a part of, and uh, we were in the main room, and we got sent into breakout rooms. And um, there's this one gentleman, and you know I've been part of this group for a while now, and he's always talking about the things that he... God has for him to do, um, but he has yet to do them. Um, he just is always talking about them. And whenever I hear him talk, my spirit is always screaming. It actually has made me anxious on, on occasions, screaming at me to tell him that he already has everything that he needs. He's already equipped. He ha already has, he already knows, he's already has everything that he needs to move forward. And my spirit has been kept, it just comes up in me that I'm supposed to tell him that. Go, the time is now, do it now. And there's always urgency in it um, to tell him. And I've never done that. Um, but we got, like I said, sent into these breakout rooms. And I, we were getting ready to be put back into the main room. I said, and I interrupted him, he was talking. And I said, I have to, got to tell you this. And I just told him what I just said to you guys. My spirit has been telling me it's the time is now you're equipped go um, you know so I told him every all that and then we got thrown back into the main rooms again and um, he actually tells the group what just occurred in our breakout room and just before he mutes himself he says but I don't know how and my heart goes mm, it just it just you know hurt my heart crushed my soul to hear him say that and just and I just been sitting back thinking about that that is where a lot of us are we know we're supposed to be getting out there we know we have a that we were supposed to we have a purpose and a plan that God has for us some of us don't really know what that is others of us do know exactly what it is but there's something stopping us um, it could be you don't know how it could be fear that's a lot of it, you know, that's a big thing for a lot of us. It could be uh, being afraid of making a fool of it yourself, not exactly knowing all of the te techniques and everything that goes into moving forward. But I'll tell you what, and this is from experience, and this is why I can sit here and say these things, that even when you don't know how, you got to move forward anyway. It's a, this is how you learn, is in moving forward. You are going to look stupid sometimes you are going to make a fool of yourself sometimes you are going to say dumb things or you're going to not be polished or professional but you're going to it gets better every time you get out there and you put your foot in the water it gets better and as you go god cannot direct your steps unless you get on the path right he can't he can't instruct you he can't guide you he can't lead you if you won't go and again i say this from my own experience as i move forward he opens the doors as I um, step out in faith, even though I may not know what I'm doing, even though I may not have a clear direction, a clear path, I just keep going. Sometimes I fail. Sometimes I'm talking to myself. You know, that doesn't matter. You keep going. And God, again, directs you. He leads you. He, he puts you where you need to be. He grows you in that. He grows. He gives you the skills. He gives you the 
the toolbox. He gives you the experience that you need. He puts you in the right places at the wrong at the right time to help grow you and give you again those tools so that you will learn and you build that experience and you build that knowledge. But you can't but if you won't ever go, you won't ever have those tools and he can't open the doors for you. So the doors remain shut because you don't go. It is a matter of faith, actually. He's asking you to have faith. He's asking you to believe in him and he's asking you to go. Literally, he's, he tells you to go again in John 15, 16, that he's telling each and every one of us to go. So I am here for you and I'm encouraging you. Yes, it's, it's scary. And yes, you may not exactly know what you're doing. But you learn in the doing. You learn in the going. And it gets better and better and better and better. And he shows you. As you're willing to put your faith in him, he shows you the path. He makes the path clear as you're in the going. So um, I hope that has encouraged you today. It's gonna, One of the things that God did tell me when, <laughs> as I've been on this path um, he, he told me that everything that I want is on the other side of my fear. Everything that he has for me is on the other side of, of my fear. So you have to do it afraid. You know, if that's, if that's one of the problems that you're experiencing is fear, you've got to do it afraid. You know, and as you do it, that fear goes away. And he's able to lift you to that next level and to that next level and to that next level as you go through the, and do the uncomfortable things. You have to be willing to do the uncomfortable th things so that you can grow, um, so that he can hand the, you those big things that he has for you, because he's got big things for you. He's got big things for all of us if we're willing to go out there and do it um, and have faith in him and trust in him, even if we're not clear what that is. Just put your foot in the water. The, you do have something in your hand. What is it that you know? That And take that and get out there and share it with people because what we have, the God, the, the, the talents that God has given us, it, it's not just for ourselves. He gave us the talents and the gifts that uh, we have for others. And you've got to remember that story that uh, about the talents that, um, you know, the, the master gave his uh, servants talents. I don't remember exactly what it is, five, three, one, I think it was. And uh, the first two, they went out there and doubled the talents. The last one, he buried his talent, and God threw him out of the kingdom. I would hate that to be for any of you. It, you're burying what he's given you. He's, you, he's bur you. You've buried your purpose, and you end up getting thrown out at the end because it was too scary. It was too uncomfortable. Um, in fact, it says in Revelation, and I don't know the verse right now, but two of the things that get us thrown into, you know, that makes us lost is our unbelief and our fear. Well, we need to get, we need to move through that. Do we need to do it afraid and just trust in him. And again, like I said, I'm over here in your corner. I'm cheering you on. I can help you along the way. Um, but you have to put your foot in the water before you see those doors, before you see the water part, before you see the doors open, before you, before the path becomes clear. So you guys have a happy Wednesday, and I hope you guys, I hope that was helpful for you today, and I'll see you guys soon.